Yo, what's going on guys? Um, so I'm here with another video, alright, and yes, I got new glasses, alright. Um, it might look weird at first, um, hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll become better after a while, I don't know. But, um, so today I'm actually not gonna be playing Valorant, I'm gonna be, this might end up being a longer video as well. But my whole purpose of making this video is with Premiere coming up for Valorant, I wanted to make a video like... Because the first three games, I'm pretty sure it's going to be on Bind. So I really just wanted to focus on like Bind and like I, what I think is the best like comp or like what is good for um, running in for um, Premiere, right? So for Bind, my comp for my team is going to be... So the problem, I feel like the main problem with our team is the lack of like people that can play like a lot of different agents, right? Or like a lot of variety. So when you have some of you may also have this problem so i think for you what the main purpose of you should be is not like sure you can look at some videos or like pro pro games and figure out comps but like you should always try creating something around the meta and making it like into your kind of own meta right but there are some bases that you should have, right? So for bind, you should have the double controller. So for me, I made it sure that I had the Viper and the Brim. That, that's something that, that's a must have, right? Because bind is such a hard map to control, especially in attack. So the more control you have of the map in attack, the easier it becomes. So you, ha you have to have the double controller. And then for me, for I uh, we um so the problem with our duelist is that he really is his strong suit is Jet and Reyna and I honestly do not trust Reyna for not well I, I trust Reyna. The main problem is that right now I don't think in our comp especially since we are mainly gonna be running like I think there's two or three maps that we're gonna be running double duelist on. So I think our main purpose should be to have like that powerful entry and also have that like agent that can just get kills right so jet we put jet on bind and then we have a sky because a sky is the best initiator for bind especially like if you're playing only sky as an initiator we have brim and then for me i'm either gonna be playing chamber or yoru we haven't really decided like i've been playing with both so with chamber i feel like chamber might actually end up being better especially in this situation where we have a jet because if we had a raise, maybe Yoru would be better. But I feel like Chamber, with the value that he has on Opping and his TPs, his trademark, I feel like, and his ability to kind of be able to play a little bit more aggro than other Sentinels will also give that edge. So I feel like for when you're only running Jet, I think the Chamber will be more helpful as well. The Yoru might be nice for lurking though, so if, like if you watch the 100 Thieves versus Sentinels match, third map was really crazy because Asuna and Tens both played Yoru. So, and dude, Tens really showed how powerful Yoru can be, especially on Vine, because he was doing so well on everything with Yoru. He, it felt like, dude, it feels like, it, 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 lit, he, it felt like he was a one-trick Yoru, even though he, even though he is, right? Because he was being able to get, uh, he was being able to get so much value off his O. His flashes were not only used to set himself up, but also to set his team up. And then his lurking because of the Yoru t teleporter was so like he just got so much value out of everything. So he could be good. Um, but I think the main comp, if you're not really trying to run simple, would be, um, Jet. Either you can run either double initiator, double um double controller but i think for bind in my opinion the best thing since bind is probably the most defense decided map you really want to have some firepower on attack to be able to get those rounds in attack and i think the best comp would probably be to have two duelist so in my recommendation it would probably be either raise yoru or jet raise and then have a sky brim and viper that's probably my recommendation if you just want to run it simple not too complicated right and then yeah, we're, I might talk about them like Ascent and other maps when like the maps when the matches are coming up. But so for now, if we for bind, the you should really be focusing as well on lineups, right? So I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple of lineups for bind, and hopefully you know you guys can get some value out of it in your premier games. 
So for let's let's say Viper, right? If you're because because you're running Brim, Brim only has three smokes, right? So you definitely want to like try saving it as much as you can. So the most common wall is this wall for B. If you just stand on this box, aim at the like top where and then shoot it it will go like all the way across and it will pretty much let you get more like shower control pretty easily maybe get the uto orb there as well and then as for the um orb you want to land an orb short so the brim doesn't really have to focus on smoking that and what you can do is if you look at the my left click icon where like there's the cur arrow curve um if you point the diamond of it and then connect it with the fourth square right here and then and then also aim at the third the top line the top line of this curtain and then if you throw it if you jump throw it it should go towards it, it should land on short it doesn't really matter how it lands preferably you want to make it land like here either like here or here because when you put it up they won't be able to stand on this box and see anything. So they won't really be able to get any in though, right? And for, as for, um, what's it called? For lineups, lineups, it should be, this one, you probably really want to have lineups because lineups just delay, right? It's just, you can get so much value out of lineups. So for this one, it should be pretty simple. I would recommend you starting with this one where you stand at the very edge of this rock. And then if you look at my smoke, my um, orb, uh, my orb icon, um, if you aim, if you, if you um, connect the thing that like in the middle, that looks like the person, right? At the top, right? Of the sign. And then you just don't jump, just shoot it. And it should land on top of the container. Here. Yep. And then it will just pretty much not only get the bottom of it a little bit, it will also get the spike, which is the most important part, right? And after you do that, you probably want to run up and just make sure you have another one thrown. And then for this one, you want to connect the um, line underneath of your health bar to the very, like, corner of um, where these, like, two things meet right so right here you want to connect it and then just shoot it and then then you can start like focusing more on peeking just to like try getting them off the spike just until like the molly lands that's probably like the most favorable thing and it's also kind of good because it doesn't let like if it also separates from like here so if people are playing back site they probably if they run through the molly then depends if, if there's still time left, then they're probably just not the smartest player, I'm gonna be honest. But, and then for A, A is definitely probably the most important one for um, for lineups because of the fact that A is really hard for you, it's a lot harder than B to play post plan, right? Because if you plant, let's say you plant here, the only real place that you can play is like either showers, but showers is risky even depending how you plant. And then short. Short is also hard because the way that you peek is so, like, you it leaves you so vulnerable, right? To, like, so many different angles that you just have to be careful. So lineups on A are crucial. So for this one, it's pretty simple. You just want to make sure that there, like, there's, like, a small gap for you to shoot the lineup. And aim it at the top of the dark gray area. And it should hit the car. It should hit this. And it should block the whole area over here. So that's one, and then if but this one also leaves you open. So for a safer one, you want to aim right here, and then there's the icon for the molly, and then there's a dot on top of the icon, right? And then you want to make sure that the dot of the icon is aiming at the edge of like this dark area, and when you do it, it should land right in the spike area right here. Yep. Okay, and then. As for the um, and then there are others like so if, if you if you're playing showers and you want to line up for um, for the default as well, just there's gonna be like this hole in the tree over here, and then it's the same thing. Um, your smoke, your molly icon should be aiming at the um, hole of the leaves, just throw it, 
and it will land safely. Yep. And for let's say if you plant default in art, what you want to do is this one is a closer one, but so there's this carpet right here. If you if you aim it in the same square that it's like overlapping over here, if you aim it right here, make sure you're standing in the middle and then there is this this isn't really it's kind of hard to see but they're at the very edge of the cloud so right here if you throw it it will also go towards the um default yep and for here i i would strongly not suggest you throw a molly from here because the problem with throwing a lineup from there is even if you're your molly lands it will be a very tight like choke hold right so like for you to peek here you could but I'm preferably I'm not going to, going to um so for this one from I would prefer throwing it from here so you can aim and then make sure you're standing like right here so like make sure you're connected with this wall and just aim at the very edge it will bounce off the wall and then it will bounce it will bounce back into triple and it will pretty much get all of the, the triple and so. The person playing Molly shouldn't be playing here towards Shower because a person can just push up towards Shower and if you're the only person playing like if you're the only person playing there then it's gonna be really bad if like it, either maybe like the lineups don't connect or maybe the lineups didn't get enough time off if you're playing showers it could be very bad so I suggest having like a different person playing here maybe like the brim because then he can just like quickly throw a Molly there but I suggest the Viper like, uh, playing somewhere else because the Viper is a crucial part to like stay alive as well. So yeah, and for okay, let me just quickly. Thirty seconds left. Okay, and then for attack of wall, right? For B, you really shouldn't be using the Viper wall. You should be mainly using Brim for that. And but for A, pretty much what you want to set up is pretty much uh what I like to call a lurker setup, right? Which is pretty much a wall that cuts off um, you you haul from the rest of the map. So you you stand on this barrel, you aim at the very top of this um square thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, and then you just throw your wall, and it pretty much what it does is it disconnects. Yeah, when you put it up, it just disconnects everything from you haul. So you can. You can use it for like lurking and everything. So yeah, or just like fast rushing you haul and like getting a uh, pick maybe. But also that's not it. Um, pretty much what you also want to do is throw a mo um uh, orb to also block you haul. And what you want to do is you want to aim right where these leaves connect. So you want to aim your orb where these two leaves connect, and then when it's connected, uh, only after you crouch. Because you don't want to make sound as well, and also it's like the best way for the lineup to land. Um, you want to jump throw. So, because then when you land, it also doesn't make sound, and after it just creates a perfect lineup. So, yeah, it just creates this, which really, which is really good, because it allows people to just lurk up towards like U-Haul and everything pretty much. So if you're maybe, you don't, I would encourage, I would, I would encourage the Viper to always set up this wall and orb. Because if even if you're rushing B, it creates pretty much a leeway for a person to lurk. Maybe the Viper lurks, you know, like, it just creates that leeway. So it's really good. And, yeah. As for that, pretty much, and then there is the Viper wall for um, attacking. For in A, in B. Actually, no. I'm going to show a different setup for A. Just in case, like, your brim gets picked off really early or something. And you just end up not having a brim, right? Which could, which is, in my opinion, really bad. But what you can do is throw a viper wall here, which pretty much blocks. Um, well, you can probably, you should probably do it closer. I kind of messed up there, but you, you it'll block off um, default from the rest of site, and then also you should probably throw it pretty soon, and then try running towards shower. Get control of showers, and then this one is pretty simple. As soon, just walk into showers like normal, and as soon as you see the red light, you throw your uh, your orb, and it will land in heaven, and it will. So, yeah, and also if you want to run like Viper by himself, which 
I would not suggest. I would not suggest playing one smoke only. Um, but yeah, it just creates this. It creates this setup pretty much. It, which it covers everything. So just in case like you lose your brim or for whatever reason you're running um, single smoke, that is an option that you have for um, Viper. And then, like I said, I would not suggest using Viper for B, but if your brim dies, you know, you never know. Your brim might die, you might lose it. Um, what you want to do is you want to really focus on cutting off elbow, right? Elbow should pretty much be your main priority. I actually don't have a lineup for this, but maybe something along the lines of either you can peek and then throw it, which I don't... Okay, yeah, that, that did line good. Um, and then it'll block... It'll block off on spawn, so yeah. But you probably, I don't know it off the top of my head. I actually don't have a lineup for this. But you probably want to learn a lineup that's a lot safer to throw. So, like, you probably want to learn a lineup that would land like there, you know? Wait, it appears on a map where it's gonna land. What? Wait, is that true? Wait, is that a bug? Wait. There's no way that's true, right? Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? Was it always like that? No, it was never like that, was it? Wait, so you're telling me I can just... Okay, yeah, um... You probably want to make it land like a lot further in and more deep inside, you know? Like here, but I mean, yeah. As long as you block CT, right? And yeah, as long as you block elbow, then you can run like solo viper if your brim dies. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I think I try. I think I I, I try covering the best that I can. Um, and also for your do list, um, your do lists are gonna be really crucial for this um for attacking especially because like I said, it's a really really defensive sort of map. If you can get momentum on the attack if you can even take the lead in attack defense will feel so good as long as you keep up the momentum right so pretty much what i would suggest is just having your initiator really focus on helping out the duelist a lot more because if the duel uh, the duelists are going to be your main point of entry like it, it always is like that like your duelist should be the one that's creating like space for every but for this map especially with everything that like with every corner or every angle that you, they can hold your duelists are really going to need to be like not need so much intel right because it's going to need to somehow clear uh, there might be the elbow you might need to clear here you might you're going to need to clear here cubby maybe ct even maybe here like there could be maybe even hookah there, there's so many places that like um or like even here like there's so many places that a duelist can get like just instantly killed from so your intel as your initial as an initiator your your job for attacking and bind is so much more crucial than like a lot of other maps in my opinion so just make sure you're really 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 like getting good intel right because like obviously you're gonna make mistakes sometimes and you might get like false information from like some flashes that you have or they might just like find a way to like dodge your flash which could happen and give you false information and especially on defense as well let's say you throw a sky flash um your sky flash one should always be coming up here because not only does it clear long but it also covers like anybody that's pushing up too short and if it doesn't catch anyone like after and there's no and like a also doesn't hear anything you you should probably re-clear it with maybe another flash or maybe even a dog right you should always as like your job as an initiator is to have intel if you if your initiator is doing a real good job then you should have unless uh, you should have intel on where they where they are like 75 percent of the time unless they're really really good and really like really outplaying you then like then it's just like bad luck or like just really unlucky situations so yeah just make sure you're getting really good intel smokes you your smokes are also crucial because like i said there's so many different angles that your um do the skin get shot from so you really have to take away those angles as a controller and sometimes let's say you really you want to take control of like 
site. Um, the brim doesn't because I what I see in ranked is they all the smokes no matter what they always smoke here and here, or well, maybe sometimes even here. But they never think about like some, sometimes smoking CT and heaven because sometimes you just want to get like full control of sight, which is understandable. You know, you, the more control you have, the better. So sometimes those smokes will have to smoke here and here because that that's the best way for you to get control. If you smoke here and here, then it's kind of bad because one it it makes it so like. Either you have to delay the push to backside, or you, your duelist or and your flashes are gonna need to waste you till, and not even get like maybe not even get like a kill because you're running through a smoke, right? You're running in without any intel on where they are, unless like you sky dog, but even so, that's like uh, you probably you should have used your sky dog before you even went into sight, right? You should have probably used it to clear U haul, so you probably most likely won't have a sky dog to even clear that, so. Just make sure communication is key, right? This game is a teamwork game. Every single agent, like you, you can have a smoke. If you can, remember, don't get tilted. If your teammate is like, oh, uh, he can be 0 and 14, but if he's doing his job really well, he could be the reason why you're winning. Like I, I'm not even playing. Cause the, sometimes like Intel and controllers are there are the reason why your duelists are being able to get kills right so just communication is key you should always be communicating especially as an initiator your your job as an initiator is to always be communicating especially with the duelist your duelist and your initiator should always be the one of the most chemistry obviously your team should have the chemistry but your initiator should always be like asking, oh, say, Jay, do you want to flash? Yeah, I can flash back side for you, or I can I can flash towards heaven and then you push into their spawn. Like you should always be communicating, asking the duelist if uh, asking the duelist if they want some kind of like flashing or something because the duelist should not be dry peeking most of the time. Like sure, if they're feeling confident, then they're gonna be then like sure you can dry peek, but most of the time. You should be, uh, you, there should be a flash back in the Duelist stuff. But yeah, that's my take on Bind and the Premiere. I hope this helps and yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you never miss any of my content that I upload. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.